and how I have utilized the virtual robotics uh, for developing this robot. So at the beginning, I will introduce uh, my Raspberry Pi 4 robot. As you can see, this is my Raspberry Pi 4 robot. It has got a onboard webcam. With this uh, webcam, it sees whatever is in front of it. Then it uh, passes that information uh, to the Raspberry Pi 4 computer. From that Raspberry Pi 4 computer, then it decides how to move this uh, 4 DC motor on board. Um, and it has got the motor controller for doing that job. So motor controller works in between uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 computer and uh, the DC motor. Now I have integrated uh, virtual robotics uh, for developing this project. That way virtual robotics, you don't have to acquire any hardware physically, uh, but uh, you still can code your robot, you still can make a program which will, will work for your robot. In this way, you can save your cost uh, also. Um, the main obstacle of going to robotics, uh, um, I would say there are three things uh, you need to require to build a robot. The first thing is you need the right hardware. The second thing is you need right software. And the third thing is you need your ability to code. Now, acquiring the right hardware is expensive and you never know that whether you will ever be able to code it um, before acquiring the hardware. So for instance, you buy some expensive hardware, then uh, you can't use it because uh, of your ability of coding or other problem. So in this case, the virtual robotics comes to play. Uh, in virtual robotics, you build your parts uh, with a computer at a dimension with different CAD software. For me, I have used uh, Inventor, Autodesk Inventor for part building. Then you import those parts to VREP robot simulation. As you can see the background, you can see the VREP robot simulation is going on basically I have built uh, my whole robot uh, in a build up simulation and it has got all the as you can see it has got all the physical hardware and software in it um, in this way then I have uh, developed the Python code to operate the virtual robot once my virtual robot is working once uh, I am pretty sure that uh, confident that I'll be able to execute it in Raspberry Pi 4 robot then I have acquired my physical parts uh, though the irony is uh, these parts are not expensive this is just a uh, usual stem uh, robot buggy but uh, imagine uh, there are many more expensive robots for instance I have got my other video with uh, Koka U-Boat which is a uh, which is a prototyping robotic platform Koka U-Boat but it cost nearly about 30,000 pounds so uh, imagine you uh, acquire some hardware with 30,000 pounds then you can't program it so what is the point rather you get the virtual hardware then you program it uh, then you make it in one now this is my uh, virtual robot as you can see on the background uh, I have made it uh, work so in my virtual robot platform as you can see uh, there is an arena I have created and I have uh, transferred the code uh, to my virtual robot uh, that virtual robot has got a, a red color uh, ball in front of it uh, that is a tracking ball and it is a moving object so that ball is a target and it moves uh, over the time uh, the robot job is to track that ball to follow that ball uh, at the same time it keep the minimum distance uh, from that ball by the way I have included the video file you can see at the background and you also can download this project from my website uh, now um, get some explanation is that uh, uh, the video file you can see on the screen that it is uh, tracking a red color ball and that ball is a moving object so the robot follows that ball at the same time it keep a uh, minimum distance from that ball as you can see the background uh, the image is showing it is uh, measuring the distance from that ball as well um, the file is included and uh, um, I'm also planning some Google Hangout session so just give a shout if you're interested about my project um, next week I'm going to publish uh, the um, actual code with uh, um, working Raspberry Pi 4 uh, project what is that also open for any kind of help I can do to your STEM project uh, also dear viewers if you like my project uh, don't forget to um, subscribe comment and share thank you for watching I will see you next time thank you